Hi, you guys. I've had a lot of people ask me uh, which is better, um, uh, having a sedan or a hatchback car. And uh, the short answer is uh, sedans are people haulers, whereas hatchbacks are cargo haulers. Um, the sedans, they're, um, for all, most of my years in the workforce, I've, I've used to always have the big sedans. And the, how I was set up was I had uh, the big Buicks, the big Park Avenues, the LeSabres and the Lucernes, and they got the big 3.8 liter V6 engine and tons of power. And they all got about 24 to 27 miles per gallon. And they were so nice for going on trips across the United States. Um, I would load up my whole family, my brothers and their girlfriends, and we'd have five of us in there and we'd still have room in our in the big huge trunk in there. And uh, um, it was just so nice. And then they're so well insulated. Um, you can't even hear the engine running. It's so quiet in there. And the back seats are just big and cushy. It's just, they're comfy for long road trips is what it is. And uh, also it, they worked good for um, hammering through through snow drifts. The, those big cars like that, they, they just plow right on through the snow, especially when you turn off the traction control. And I got by just fine without um, snow tires going through four inches of snow. And except for the two weeks of um, winter up here where, um, well, we have winter for about seven months of the year, but, <laughs> um, when the snow is over four inches, then I would just drive my big gas hog pickup, which would get like, uh, nine to 11 miles per gallon. And, and it all worked out fine because that's all you had to drive it. But now with these high gas prices, since the Ukraine war here, I finally bought my first hatchback. And the way I was looking at it is like, if I go to I'm doing a lot more of my own repairs now where I'll swap in an engine, swap in a transmission or a transfer case in a pickup or anything. And uh, I, I, I've got to be able to run 800 miles round trip. And uh, with, like I said, with these gas prices, it's not cost effective to, to run a gas hog pickup across two different states. So I ended up buying a hatchback now. I got a Honda Fit. And uh, the thing is, those hatchbacks, they got pretty small engines. Got a little 1.5 liter um, four-cylinder engine instead of the big V6 like a, like a sedan has. And, uh, but yeah, it, um, I, get, I get 36 miles per gallon though, which is amazing. So now I can use it as my car for commuting uh, and as my pickup for the lawn trips. And um, yeah, like I said, I, I've already hauled a transfer case. I know I can get a full-size Chevy pickup transmission in there. Um, it would take a little bit of maneuvering to get that uh, a Chevy pickup engine in there, but I think I could do it. I know I, I know I could get car engines in there. And um, I've seen people put uh, their big dumpster in the back, their, their giant plastic garbage can in there. So yeah, it's, it's a, oh, and I also have hauled a, um, a 20 ton hydraulic shop press that was fully assembled in the back. So um, uh, yeah, so yeah, they always recommend hatchbacks for like, um, younger couples, you know, or singles that don't have kids and a family yet. Cause the back seat is definitely not very comfy. Like it's more of, it's two, it's two bench seats back there, but they, they don't have that much cushion on them. They're nothing like the back seat of a, of a sedan where it's got, it's all, the seats are almost like a bunch of pillows around you. So, um, yeah, just think about that when you guys are choosing and, uh, my hatchback though, that thing does just um, really good in the snow too. Um, I put snow tires on it because it doesn't have a traction control off button and I've been plowing through four inches of snow, but it, it just doesn't have the, that horsepower like the, the big sedans do for slamming through a big snow drift. But, um, so far with the, like I said, with how the gas prices are, um, I'm really happy with the hatchback for now. So, all right, take care you guys.